Greetings, hello and welcome back to more Project Zomboid here in the first new morning in our new base. Um, so it seems to be really, really, really terrible weather. Which means we're gonna do a little bit of a oof, of a base day. Um, I will take this opportunity to, to grab a little bit here of the seeds, get a little farm going, just so that we have some sustainable uh, food sources coming in. Let's see, what do we have? Let's grab some lettuce, some leek. Now I have some, some mods that add more, um, more farming goods, right? And then also some cooking mods that add new cooking recipes and all that, so... You know, some variety. Um, good old cabbages. Yeah, okay, I don't wanna... There's so much. There's so much good stuff. It's like, oh, I wanna, I wanna plant all the things, but then I'm gonna be... Doing this for days. Alright. So I grabbed, what, seven different packages here. And I kinda wanna have, like, three plots. How much room do I have? Hmm. Okay. Then I'm gonna do a quick tour around the base, make sure there's no zombie knocking anywhere. And probably just carry some stuff in. So this might be an episode where I'm gonna be fast forwarding um, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so we might just do a, a two-day episode. Depending on how fast I can get this done. Because I also want to have some, you know... I don't just want to have a pure base episode where nothing really happens. Gotta do some zombie killing. But hey. That's seven times three, I think, yeah. All right, let's open all of that. Uh, how is it just six now? Did I... Did one kind of disappear? No, I dropped it on the ground. I didn't open it. Okay. All right, cool. So I have no idea how good these different new foods are, how long they actually gonna take to... Um, you know, to grow. Like, vanilla has some, some, some really terrible foods, like... Um, Radishes are never worth planting, right? It's super low nutrition value. Like, you basically spend more time planting and harvesting them than, than what you get uh, out of food value out of them. Um, onion? And then potatoes. I do hear somebody bashing somewhere. Don't want to be over encumbered. We're also getting moist. It looks like all clear. Of course, close this window so I can't get in here. I don't know. I think that's good enough for me.
Um, I'm just gonna throw the seeds and the shovel back in here. And the warmth. And I'm just gonna put the shattered glass in here because I don't want to keep it on me. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick cut here. And uh, next thing I'm gonna do is, you know, grab all the corpses, bring them outside, do a big corpse pile. There's no risk of putting them anywhere near your farm. Like some people might say, oh no, it can ruin your farm. Zombies walking over your crops can damage them or destroy them, but the, the zombie corpses have no effect. All right, let me do a quick cut and uh, I'll be back once once I've cleaned all this up. Right, um, we're, ba we're back. So I cleared out most of the ground floor, put all the corpses there. I actually also spent some time um, ripping up all the clothing of the zombies. Got a little bit of tailoring XP out of that, not very much. Um, and I was looking now through the through the locker room. Yeah, it's it's still the weather is still out, right? <laughs> and uh, over here, I found a hiking bag, which is you know. 70 encumbrance reduction, 14 capacity, which should be an upgrade over the duffel bag. Let me double check. 1265. Yeah, absolutely. So let's get that going. Um, that's then. Where's the duffel? Duffel, duffel, duffel. On the ground. And also, we no longer have to deal with that black icon that you can barely see. Uh, all that stuff into the back, and the duffel can just go inside. Uh, eventually, I have to probably clear everything out here because this this is just a room full of metalworking XP waiting to be disassembled. Um, yeah, I think so. Since since the weather is so bad, so there's a, a few things I was looking into what what we can actually do um, outside of you know actually clearing out all the things like uh, I think somebody mentioned I, I missed some beta blockers but since this is our base like nothing is going away um, I think the first thing I want to do well two things right we're gonna we're gonna read the second carpentry book finish that which I don't think I finished did I did I keep it in here and then I probably want to um, collect all the books from all the bookshelves and basically turn this here into a library. Right, this room seems like a decent library. Um, can also probably disassemble all those computers. Rearrange this room a little bit. Turn this into an you know, office kind of thing, library, something like that. Anyway, I don't think I actually brought my carpentry book, huh? Let me just, let me just grab the stuff from the car. Oh, I, yeah, I think I actually got the, got the books from the car. And yeah, so this, this, for some reason, ooh, I should not be doing this because I'm clumsy and jumping over fences can get me injured. This counts as indoors, because reasons. Oh! That's a... Fasty boy. Ah, let's get all the books in here. stay there for now. I, don't have, I, I really have a very limited amount of food in this space at the moment. So I'm just gonna snack on those plonkies. Maybe even a ch pack of chips.
I'm wondering. Uh, so I was thinking that this up here, this balcony, since it doesn't have a roof, should be okay for the generator, but I'm a little bit concerned that it still counts as indoors because the temperature doesn't change when we get out here. So you might have to find, maybe we just put it behind the building. But I mean, generator concerns are uh, future concerns for when the power is out, which hopefully is still far, far away. Fingers crossed. All right, gonna throw all the books in here for now. And the magazines. And since the weather is so bad, I'll probably just spend some time reading and then sorting out all the bookshelves in the base, bringing them all into the future library. And I'll do a lot of that off camera and I'll bring it back in, well, either if the weather clears or if something exciting happens. All right, be right back. Well, good morning, I have to say, and welcome back. Um, so. It was a very uneventful and rainy day, and um, I woke up again fairly early. So, you know, I got all the books that are in this building into these three bookshelves. We have a bunch of duplicates and stuff. Um, I kind of uh, need to probably sort them out because otherwise the bookshelves are almost all full, and there's no point having duplicates. There's also no point actually having books you've already read. But uh, that's 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 a that's an issue for for the future. I kind of still like keeping keeping a full library even of books that I will not read a second time, right? Because there's no point in that. Um, that being said, um, we need some more food reserves. Even if it's going to be a rainy day, we need to go out and grab the stuff that's in the other base, like even those bookshelves here empty and or maybe go through some of the residential buildings we've been we've cleared out already and um loot the kitchens like i've kind of ignored that the first time we went through because we had so much stuff but yeah as it turns out suddenly you have less stuff or you might have noticed i took down the three bookshelves upstairs um in the hallway because they were kind of making weird line of sight issues so i thought okay those those are kind of in the way now if we want to bring stuff back and forth here i also should just get all of this oh we have a poncho let's wear that get a little bit better rain protection There's so much crap in here. Um, yeah. Let's grab all of this. I just want to mm, empty out this car. Let me just see that nobody is going to attack me while I'm overburdened. I'll keep one extra crowbar in the car as a, as a backup weapon. And I think the rest would probably into the garage storage here. Now, I, part of me hates touching the whole stuff twice, as in once just to bring it here and then a second time when I'm actually sorting out my life. But um, for now, let's just get it all in here. Okay, I still have my... I did just put away my screwdriver. Let's make sure we keep that. I want to keep the saw. And let's just favorite the stuff we want to keep on us. And then I think I'm just going to transfer all into the shelf.
It's a little bit of back and forth here because then I'm gonna go in here and grab the food out again. And bring that into the kitchen so we have kind of a little bit of an overview of what we have. Which is, to be fair, not a lot. Throw that in here, and you know what? That chocolate. Nom nom nom. I wish I had a faster way to get out of the base from here. I guess I couldn't just you know, jump through. Did I, did I fix this window? Yeah. Alright. Do this. Little bit risky, but that's just how I roll. Alright. I have another spare crowbar in here. Okay. I will touch that. This stuff. Let's loot all of this. So throw that into the garage storage, and then we're gonna head out. So the reason I favorited these things is if you do the transfer all button, then it will not move the stuff you have favorited. So kind of keep con control better which stuff you want to keep in your inventory. Um, I also think we sh do not have free water bottles normally. Let's put that in there. And I don't think we need that many blockers. Let's put one in there. Can I just combine those? some reason it's not doing it. Okay. Normally you can kind of combine some some sort of items. Right. Like if you have two bottles of water, you can pour the contents of the one into the other. Huh. There's something to be said about grabbing that trailer if I want to move all the stuff from the other base over here. I think for now we should focus... Uh, yeah, let's make one food run. I'm not going to bring all the tools and weapons over just yet. I also should totally... Uh, get the radio... a preset emergency broadcast station tune in and we're just 10 minutes late okay but I oh no we still get the end periods of heavy clouds light fog weather ending in the afternoon broadcast system integrity Within parameters. Okay. A 
little bit concerned there with the broadcast system integrity because yeah that's also part of this run and that we have a mod where the the radio stations can stop working and then you would need to head out to the particular radio station that's broken and fix it i have no idea what that entails but it certainly entails driving cross-country to a completely fresh town finding that radio station clearing all the zombies and then doing something with it The reason we need the radio stations is not just for the weather predictions, but also for the... Uh, did I forget to barricade this window, or was this... There's no way. I'm really confused. this bashed in. I just want to look through previous footage. I'm kind of like, I, I didn't forget anything. Right, that's my first impression here, but at the same time it had still the broken glass in, and I'm fairly certain I removed all broken glass from all the windows. Even though I'm not using this as my main base anymore, I kind of want to have this as a backup. No, oh, <laughs> trying to barricade that window there. They can just, no, you little shit. How do I make sure? <laughs> Dumb. Well, that's a freaking problem. Okay, I don't, I don't have time for this. I should totally take the time for this. Yes, we're just gonna four times barricade this, and then at that point it should then uh, go to the other one. Can I get some some wood here anywhere? No. Was a short sound from that direction. I think it's probably faster if I just um, chop something down. Okay, but if I remember correctly from the weather, we just heard that the for the tomorrow broadcast, it was saying the rain will stop in the afternoon. So we're still gonna have crappy weather for at least a little while longer. I'm sure we have a kitchen knife over there. And all of this. Yes, even the even the scrap electronics we had in here. Let's grab a cooking pot. Eat the broccoli. Oh whatever, eat the cream cheese. One of this guy is walking in the in the sound direction of that shot. Oh, 
Hang on a second. I almost forgot the speed for here. Food, 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 food. Uh, I want to grab a needle so I can do some some uh, tailoring. We can't as food. I'm going a little bit over encumbered here, yeah? but we can just rope down directly to the car. Should be totally safe, right? Now we can also rope up again and uh, just do a second trip. Trying to get as much stuff as possible quickly in there. Uh, so I'm no longer encumbered. Okay, transfer all. That's probably going to fill up the trunk fully. Let's sweep the rest of the station, or at least of our kitchen up here. I'm not sure if there was a kitchen on the other floors. Those dried, um, dried beans, dried lentils, they give so much um, nutrition. That's actually going to be enough on its own. Don't need dog food. So far, in all my hours playing Project Zomboid, I've managed to not ever have to resort to dog food. And I'm going to keep it that way. Decent amount. Actually, to a point where I'm already thinking uh, we don't we don't need to loot any of the other residential buildings. We can just bring that back to base. Because all the fresh stuff alone is probably more than we can uh, keep in our fridge. Um, I'm going to sort this out and I'll bring you back in.
Alright, so I sorted all of that out. Um, I took a quick nap since we started the day early, so I you know, slept for two hours. By the way, we're starting to build a little bit of a circle of spiffos here. Uh, anyway, car is empty, all the food is in the house. I actually sliced up the watermelon and I'm numbing away on that. Probably the last watermelon of the apocalypse. And I think even though it's crap weather, just want to go out here and check check in with the neighbors. See if anyone else wants to say hello. Like that group over there. He couldn't wait for, for me to get over there. the rest of the guys. Come on. Where are you menace? What do you have stuck in there? Butterfly knife. Alright. Ooh, a motorbike? Fancy, fancy. If you want to have all the speed of a sports car... Without the bite protection of something like windows, hey, motorbikes. the gas can. Good, it's open. I thought we had this store cleared before. Okay, this does not seem healthy right now. Oh, yeah, my mistake. There was still an intact window. Come on. Yeah, if that happens when you have other zombies around, that's almost a death sentence. why I should not be fighting close to fences and windows and anything else they can fall over. Okay, uh, one thing I'm a little bit confused about, why is it so dark in here? 
Also, did I never loot all this shit? Given our um, lack of food and lack of weight, all this this unhealthy food needs to go right in my belly. That no plonkies. A box of chocolates, okay. This has been um we've definitely been inside here because normally you don't find strap electronics on a shelf. It's probably me uh, dumping a bunch of bunch of items from watches. Yeah, we're starting to get panicked because it's dark. I was wondering if there's no light switch here. I don't see any... Like, what kind of... What a gas station does not even have a light switch. Alright. Um, so I don't want to stay here too much longer, but I wanted to check... The same red all those maps? Oh, come on. Let's get out of here. That's in here. Hang on. I thought I saw something. Those corpses. Hey, toy car. You know? Gotta gotta appreciate and have some some time for the special things. Uh, what's it? Rule number something something. Enjoy the little things. All right, rainy two days. So, yeah, not much to be done here. The the lock sound reminded me of... Yeah, about that. Should be locking those. Oh, also I forgot a corpse here. Now I'm a little bit concerned since this counts as indoors, so all these corpses that are in in the courtyard are kind of still in considered indoors, so I'm in, in a building with corpses. But I'm sleeping on different floors, so it shouldn't be the end of the world. Also, I do have the reduced corpse removal time, so they're actually gonna decay after three days, so. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Uh, garbage picks in here. This in here for now, and then all the crappy food. I said unhealthy food can all go in here. Oh my kidding. Those choco cakes are gonna get uh, killed faster than a zombie running into a sledgehammer. Alright, um I'll still have some of those. Okay. I think I threw the electronic parts in here, for sure. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need to spend a day or something um, sorting out everything. I what I don't like is we don't have a 
sink here in this kitchen. And I'm fairly certain the upstairs kitchen also didn't have one. No, actually this one has one. Mm. But it has less less storage cabinets. Yeah, that's, I think there's a lot of rearranging and restoring we'll have to do here. I also need to find a radio so we don't always have to listen to the radio in the car, but you know, one step at a time. I, I like this place. I probably also want, I mean, this is this is good bed quality, but having a um, proper bed in here over time uh, is one of the goals from going to disassemble all these other bats. We might even do that now. You know, there's still some time left. We've fully read the carpentry book. Sure, let's get rid of yeah, for now I think we're just gonna disassemble those four bats here. No. A bit of an XP boost. This goes actually fairly quickly, even if we haven't watched any of the carpentry shows in the first week. That's where my nails are. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll do some cleanup in the base at some point. <laughs> nah, this is this almost feels like you know. Feels like at home, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll clean that up later. Um, cool, what else? I think we still have like one, maybe two hours left since we took the nap earlier. Let's actually clean up some of those corpses. And by clean up, I mean I'm gonna rip some more clothing here. Blood. I'll figure out what this whole the, the research with the blood and all that stuff. Um, I've kind of been ignoring that so far because basic survival first, and then we can work on the other aspect of the mod pack, which is researching a cure for the zombie virus. Uh, I think you, you can't just start right with the big goal. So, um, tailoring is what I'm doing here, and um, it's fairly straightforward. You need, in order to, to level tailoring... Oh, I need ammo. Um, you need threat. Threat is what you can get as a chance from, from ripping up clothing. In order to rip up jeans or leather clothing you need a scissors otherwise you can just do it with your hands um, you get dirty racks rip sheets denim strips um, more than you probably need So that's one car. You could, in theory, could clean the dirty racks so that you have more rip sheets. Um, but that is usually not worth it. You can also rip up any clothing you find in any sort of, you know, containers, baskets, etc. Et then um, eventually, quick snack. Um, you get minimal XP from that, right? So we have gained, what, 
total of 10 XP. Ooh. Um, the actual leveling happens when you then take any sort of piece of clothing. Uh, let's say, for example, I take the teen shirt, I go and inspect, and then I can, if I had a needle on me, I can apply patches to this, then remove them again. And that's the process of, of grinding up tailoring skill. Now, I've completely ignored tailoring in the last playthrough in the clear clove one, because this was unmodded. Now, with the mods I have, there are some tailoring perks, as in you can upgrade your backpacks to give them more storage capacity and additional hotbar slots. So that's what I'm actually giving crap about tailoring right now. Um, but it's a bit of a tedious process. So for now, I'm just gonna throw it all in here. I can rip this, this denim shirts here. So the other thing, before we before we call it a night, we'll call it an episode, let's get all our plushies. The very important part here. Loppy, this plushie, mini moose. Oh no. Gonna be one of the turtles here, or is that a different Raphael? Oh, hang on. No, no duplicates. Alright, and I only need one bed to sleep. So we have one bed for the plushies. Spiffles, go to the spiffle circle, everybody else. It's up here. Some of them look a little bit scary. Next door plushie, you know, and you come into the that corner there. Big keeping keeping watch. Oh, this is tur totally a turtle Raphael. Alright, that's a start. We don't want it to look creepy, right? So, you yeah, know, a regular amount of plushies and spiffles. Alright, but really, time to hit the sack. Two day episode, which is gonna turn my whole episode number being the day number, is gonna be even more wrong going forward, but it is what it is. We're gonna call it a day here. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.